Well, good morning, everybody. John Cullum here in Uganda with my friend Joan Naikaki, who spoke to you a couple of weeks ago. Say hi, Joan. Hello. So she's my neighbor here, and we're going to do the morning devotional today. Um, it is the 21st of December. It's the Monday after the fourth Sunday in Advent, and um, really hoping that everybody is having a great day week and a great day and enjoyed fourth Sunday yesterday with all four candles lit. Here in Uganda, life is good. Um, things are not as closed as they were when I got here. They're not opening up yet. And my glasses are broken, if you'll notice, but uh, um, still getting along. Politics here is sort of ramping up. There's lots and lots of things happening. Our the president of Uganda was in town uh, last week for three days, um, hitting different towns in the region, but staying here in Fort Portal. So things were pretty buttoned down. I took the opportunity to get out of town um, and have been spending the last two or three days um, out uh, visiting different um, uh wetland areas and natural park areas, uh, not necessarily going on safari, but doing more walking and in the jungle and forests around here and really enjoying my time. Um, but enough of that uh, for now. Um, we're going to start the morning devotional. If you have a book of common prayer, if you want to join me on page 137 at the top of the page, I'm going to do the uh, service and then Joan is going to do the reading and talk about it. Um, so at the top of page 137 uh, from Psalm 51. Open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your saving help again and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. And now our reading today from uh, the Gospel of John, chapter 5, verses 30 through 47. And here is Joan. Yes, hi, once again, my name is Chuan Nyakake, I'm a neighbor to John Colum. I'm going to read uh, today's chapter, it's in John chapter 5, uh, verse 30 to 37, and it says, By myself, I can do nothing, I judge only as I hear, and my judgment is just. For I seek not to please myself, but him who sent me. If I testify against, uh, if I testify about myself, my testimony is not true. There is another who testifies in my favor, and I know that his testimony about me is true. You've sent to John, and he, he and he has testified to the truth. Not that I accept human testimony, but I mention it in that you may be saved. John was a lamp that burned and gave light, and he chose for a time to enjoy his light. I have testimony right here than that of John, for the works of the Father has given me to finish. The very works that I'm doing testify that the Father sent me. And the Father who sent me has himself testified concerning me. You have never heard his voice, nor seen his form, nor does his, his word dwell in you, for you do not believe the one, who's, the one he sent. You study the scriptures diligently, because you think that in them you have eternal life. These are the very scriptures that testify about me. Yet you refuse to come to me to have life. I do not accept glory from human beings, but I know you, I know that you do not have the love of God in your heart. I have come in my Father's name, and you do not accept me. But if someone else comes in his own name, you will accept him. Now, uh, sorry, 
How can you believe since you accept glory from one another, but do not seek the glory that comes from the only God? But do not think I will accuse you before the Father. Your accuser is Moses, on whom your hopes are set. If you believed Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote about me. But since you do not believe what he wrote, how are you going to believe what I say? That was today's reading. And the way I understand it, uh, John 5, 30, 47, the way I understand it uh, to me, the Bible says, I seek not to please myself, but the one who sent me. And I believe Jesus was sent by his father, and that is God. God the Father is the one who sent him. Jesus had no need to prove himself because he had the backup of God. Um, first of all, the work that he did here on earth testifies who he is and where he's from. The Bible also talks about John. The scriptures, as well as Moses, also talk about Jesus' coming. So Jesus had no need to prove himself because he had the backup of God. Thank you. Thank you, Joan. Welcome. Um, I'd like to add a little bit to that, uh, if I might. Um, I think one of the great things of this piece of scripture is um, that it sort of puts a kibosh, if, if you will, on people who um, go out and preach to others that they are the word of God and that they know more about what God wants other people to do, especially um, uh, my experience here in Uganda with a lot of priests here um, uh, tend to try and tell their flocks, if you will, um, that their word is God's word and, and that they're the chosen ones to preach God's word rather than than letting scripture do the talking and and preaching um, the meaning of the scripture as opposed to their meaning of the scripture. Um, but anyway, um, let me go back to the devotional now um, with our praise, prayers of the people, which if you've been following and know me, we're going to go to page 387, I think. Yeah, three, no, 380. Where are you? I don't like these glasses. <laughs> um, I've got three pair of glasses around here, and while I was rushing to get this going on time, I couldn't find the ones that actually aren't broken. So, page 392, I'm sorry, in the Book of Common Prayer, form six of the prayers of the people. And um, if you have your prayer book, read along. If not, I'll try and... Uh, Help you follow along and uh, in peace we pray to you Lord God for all people in their daily life and work and for our families friends and neighbors and for those who are alone for this community the nation and the world and for all who work for justice freedom and peace for the just and proper use of your creation and for the victims of hunger fear injustice and oppression for all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble, and for those who minister to the sick, the friendless, and the needy. For the peace and unity of the Church of God, and for all who proclaim the gospel, and all who seek the truth. For our presiding bishop, our bishop, and all other bishops and other ministers, and for all who serve God in his church. For the special needs and concerns of this congregation, especially today for the young teenage mothers in rural Uganda and around the world who struggle with um, teenage pregnancy, unwed teenage pregnancy, and other female issues, and for the men to learn to respect and care for the women that they're with. Please add your own petitions for the special needs and concerns. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. 
We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life. Thank you, God, for the opportunity to spend this time in Uganda as California undergoes another shutdown due to COVID, that I can be here in Uganda where my work can bring good to people and that my mind might be a little bit more at ease without the stress of um, the lockdown in California. So that's a blessing for me. Please add your own blessings or thanksgivings. We exalt you, O God, our King, and praise your name forever and ever. And we pray for all who have died, that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. Please add your own petitions. Lord, let your loving kindness be upon them who put their trust in you. And if you'll join me in saying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. In our closing collect for this morning, or this evening, um, Lord God Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, everybody, for listening. I hope you all have enjoyed Joan's take on today's reading, and I hope to see you next Monday. Everybody, have a great Merry, Merry Christmas from this continent to yours. Um, Merry Christmas.